So I got this scraper that I'm using to scrape off the snow on our beehives. In my video before, I unwrapped them from the insulation. See right here is the insulation that I unwrapped them. We had wrapped them up um, due to really negative extreme Arctic weather that we had the past two weeks. The week before, not last weekend, but the previous weekend was negative 45 wind chill. And then just this past weekend was still negative 25 wind chill. So we were just trying to help the bees um, out of that wind, you know, and things like that. We kind of, we put a hay bale next to them, a board to get the, that wind away from them. And the way we positioned them on this side, the south side of the barn, um, I think really helped them. So now we're just uncovering this because this week's going to be in the 30s with rain and the next week even in the 40s. So we don't want all that moisture to melt, get into that insulation and get moisture inside the hive. That would definitely would kill the bees. So we're just doing this to have them prepped for the little bit nicer weather in the end of January here in Iowa. So I'm just gonna scrape off the tops of this snow really quick. And then I have a little bit of insulation left to take off that last hive and then they should be good. To start, as you can see, the snow is very deep on top of them. And we have had a couple bees coming out to see what was happening. That's why we're wearing our bee jackets today. Even though it's in the 30s, low 30s, I believe, um, and still to me chilly, you know, the bees are probably wondering what all the noise and racket is. That I'm trying not to make too much noise for them, but there's a little bit of noise, of course. So. The bees weren't really mad. They were just trying to check out what was going on. This snow is so deep. Check into my pre my video my video previous to this one, you will see me unwrapping them and what they look like wrapped up in the insulation. You want to come closer to this one? See now the bees are starting to come around me too. They're really starting to wonder what's going on. They have been, they pretty much probably been stuck in that hive for about two weeks straight with the Arctic weather we've had. So they are probably like to have a little bit of fresh air, just check out what's going on. And they may be a little bit irritated with what I'm doing, but I hope not. I'm trying to do it pretty quickly and quietly. So now, so those two hives are good. So now we're into our last hive and then I'm going to put the insulation back in the barn so we can reuse it and then just let the bees be bees. So here on this one, so I had to, going to get the insulation out yet. I'm going to try to move this forward. Okay, now for some reason a lot of snow went in here. not so windy now, but 
You never know. We're supposed to get rain for three days and like snowy, wintry mix. It's what the weather said starting tonight into tomorrow and Wednesday. And I don't know about Thursday, but we're going to be getting some type of weather these next couple days. So. bees we have been seeing dead bees around but that's natural you know there's going to always be some dead bees it's not over the top of you know dead bees so that's just natural it's just I think we can see them a lot better because of the snow it looks a lot more like there's more of them but there really isn't you know every day you're gonna have some so it's nothing to be alarmed about or anything like that I think it's just natural for them. Yep, and even in this one over here, if you come, you'll even be able to see some bees starting wanting to come out and check out what's going on in that little hole, their little opening under there. It's kind of hard to see because but You can start hearing them buzzing too. <laughs> so that means that's good. That means that they're well and that they're just doing their stuff. So, okay, well, that was us uncovering our bees for the little bit nicer weather in the end of January. Thanks for watching our videos and please subscribe and like our videos if you do like them and comment on us because we love to read comments. Our family loves to read comments.